Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video we are going to be going over SAS mix-ins. Mix-ins and SAS. Whatever. Anyways, if you are familiar with most any other programming language, you will probably be familiar with the concept of functions. Functions have a name, they sometimes take parameters, take arguments, and most of the time they return value unless it's void. But in this case, uh, SAS mixins are pretty similar to functions. They have a name, they accept arguments, and in a manner of speaking, they return a value in that they render or output CSS code. So, how do we define mixins in SAS? It's pretty easy. You start with the at sign, and then you say mixin, and then you give it a name. So I'm going to call this one center, and then you put these squiggle brackets, okay, the curly braces. Now, I'm going to put into this mixin called center these three lines of CSS code that look like this, and that way... I can reference these three lines of CSS code or of SAS code, whatever you want to call it, by referencing this mixin called center. So now this header um, no longer has those rules applied unless I say at include center. And that's the name of the mixin. Whoops. Got an extra at sign in there. Okay, now if I save that, come over here. Those rules are popped in there just as intended. And since CSS doesn't have since CSS doesn't have anything that is like a mixin, this just disappears. It's it's not in the output, it's just wherever it's referenced. Alright, now on to the next step, and that is accepting arguments. So right here, in order to support every single browser. Um, prefix, I had to write out the border radius property five times. And there are probably browsers that I missed in there too, or some browser that still doesn't support it, but whatever. So I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to create a new mixin called border radius, and that's going to accept this parameter. It's called r. Okay, now I'm going to paste this code in here. And now I can replace each of these instances of 20 pixels with R. Okay, now that that's done, we can come over here to this dot softbox selector and include our border radius mixin. And we have to add the parentheses and then how much how, how much radius on the border? 20 pixels. So save that, and I did something wrong, didn't I? I spelt it wrong. There. Now it should work. And here we have 20 pixels in there. And it's really easy to change the value. So I can change it to 10 pixels, like that. I can even um, not specify a value here, but instead specify a default value here. Default value of 10 pixels. 10 pixels. And now, if I call, if I include the mixin without specifying the radius here, it'll just it'll just say, oh, there's nothing there, so I'm going to use the default value, and it'll give me 10 pixels. There are a bunch of other things that you can do with mixins, like you can have multiple arguments, like if I somehow manage to, so like. Um, Maybe here you wanted to specify a border radius for each of the four corners. So you could have border radius 1, and then you separate them with a comma. Border radius 2, radius 2, uh, maybe default of 20 pixels or something like that, and on and on and on. There are so many different things that you can do with mixins, so many that I can't possibly cover them in one short video. Now I did something wrong because I named that differently. But there you go. There's your quick, short, simple introduction to mixins in SAS. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you learned something from it. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Jacob, and have a good one.